How you doing? I'm Ross. This is my box truck. Um, welcome to my journey. This is a 2003 Econoline Ford Econoline Super Duty. Uh, when I bought it, of course, being in 2003, it had a lot of issues. So a lot of rot in here, inside on the board. So I've replaced those. I took out the access door so that I could get to the floor. And I didn't want to bore you guys with taking the floor out and cutting them and all of that. So, um, so I went ahead and did that and skipped it. I uh, want to take you on this journey, uh, give you a little brief idea of what I'm going to do. I'm going to, um, I'm going to have a full bathroom, shower, toilet, a set toilet, and the shower is going to be recirculating so I can go probably a couple weeks without changing the water. I've watched a lot of videos on that. It shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Last great words, right? And I'm going to have a pretty big size refrigerator, 10.4 cubic foot. I don't want to have to stop every other day and get food. So this is my home. This is where I'm going to live. And part of that is uh, where I live now. I don't have to go out every other day and get food or get water or anything like that. So I'm going to have ample storage of all that. Uh, it is 14 foot. I thought it was 16 when I bought it, but it's not. And then with the access door, it comes into the van six inches so it's actually a 13 and a half foot van uh, no problem I drew everything up on CAD and you just have to knock two feet off uh, cuts into my countertop a little bit but other than that uh, everything is going to fit pretty well uh, it should be livable I'm going to have probably 800 watts of solar and uh, that'll go into two lithium batteries. And when I get to that, that's, I'll describe everything that I'm putting in there right now off the top of my head, I can't tell you. Cause um, I'll, it's gotta be simple because <laughs> that's how I understand it. So it'll be a pretty, pretty simple journey. But uh, some of the things I've already done, like I said, I did the floor in here. I'm going to sand it down a little bit to get it a little smoother and then I'll put some uh, uh, sound deadening on it, but it's also going to have some insulation uh, properties to it. And it's probably like an R4 or something like that. And then I'll put some vinyl flooring over the top of that, um, give it simulated wood, kind of a gray. And then as far as the walls go, I'll have a one inch foam insulation in there. I'll put some studs on there, one by twos. And uh, same for the ceiling. Uh, I'm gonna have a, of course, a fan in there. Uh, what I wanna, really wanna do is put a small air conditioner in the front, up, up the top, and put a cover over that so it'll deflect the air. And uh, hopefully I can still be stealthy with that covering that. And uh, anyway, just some things I'm thinking about. So let me give you a little tour of what I got so far and we'll get this video done and we'll start the fun stuff. Take care. Okay, as I said, I had to replace some of the boards. So here are some of them that I did. It was all rotted up here in the corner, uh, of course. Went back here, it was rotted up in that corner. And so I just took those whole boards out, came over here. Now this, this doesn't look good, but uh, it's, uh, that's just the way it is. It's the fuel access. Now you can see, I put all these new bolts in. I had to drill new holes. Uh, that, of course, is gonna go up under there for uh, fuel access. But I replaced one of those boards there. And over here on this side, I replaced uh, four of those. So the good thing about it was these long rotten boards right here, when I took them up, I was able to cut off the rot and uh, reuse them right through here. So those I didn't have to do the lap joints on, but uh, all the 
all the wood that looks like decking, which it is. I had to do lap joints. And uh, as you can see in this picture here, I have a lot of light coming through. <laughs> so uh, that's because whoever fixed it the first time didn't have lap joints. So I eliminated all that by putting the lap joints in. And uh, so let's proceed around to the outside. Okay, it is quite sunny here in Southwest Florida, but this is what I got so far. Uh, oh, and it's locked. Great. Uh, anyway, as you can see, I still got some cosmetic work to do on the wheels. Uh, it is a barn door type, so that's one thing I wanted. And the access door going through is something I wanted as well. So if you come over here onto the fuel side, there's the, the fuel door that I redid. Uh, I sanded it all down and cleaned it up. Of course, the neck will come up through there and it'll look like new. Uh, all the wheels are like that. I gotta get new tires for it. And uh, that's about it. I do have some, a uh, little bit of rust to get rid of but other than that I think we're good to go um, next video I should be putting the floor in all right see you then